We look around our house and see that things are not the way they're supposed to be. There's clutter on every surface, crumbs under every table, and sticky fingerprints on every wall and window. We know we need to handle the day-to-day -day of our housework better. But how? Obviously, routines are the answer. But routines are not the magic solution you might be making them in your mind. Hi, I'm Misty Winkler, homemaker, homeschool mom, and author of the new book, Simplified Organization, Learn to Love What Must Be Done. In my book, I develop six steps toward skillful homemaking that we can all take that will make a difference in how we manage not only life in our home, but primarily ourselves. Joy, satisfaction, and even traction are possible in our lives as mom at home. And this book will show you the way. So in this series, I am developing and adding extra thoughts that were cut from the book on these six steps. And today we are nearing the end as we talk about routines. So let's dig in. I've written out countless routine plans on paper. I've set them up on calendars. I've inputted them into fancy apps. Most of my plans have been reasonable, but none of them worked. Why? Because I didn't work them. With or without a routine plan in place, keeping up on the housework boils down to committing our own time and attention. You can clean on a schedule or you can clean what you see needs to be done next, but either way, you have to clean. Routines don't suddenly make it all easy and effortless. The plan is only there to remind you when and where you should be directing your work, your attention, your energy. <laughs> Cleaning really isn't the kind of thing that becomes an autopilot habit. Something we just suddenly find ourselves doing without really having to think about it and direct ourselves intentionally where we should be. If that autopilot kind of habit is what we're looking for in a routine plan, it's no wonder we've never found a set of routines that works. But even though routines are not going to do any of the work for us, they are still worth working through and putting together. However, usually, our planned routines are too elaborate and thorough. Our goal with routines is to design conditions by which everything is clean all the time. And then that's the criteria by which we judge whether or not our routines are working. It doesn't work. Our house is not clean all the time. And so we think our routines failed or we failed and we're just a lost cause. But instead, we should think of our routines as our regularly taken baby steps. See back to step three about baby steps. Doing them is not the complete system that touches all the bases. It's not an all-in-one solution for having a totally clean house. But rather, our routines are the bare minimum maintenance that keeps things running. After years of not only trying many failed systems, but also in finally finding my own groove and needing to remake my groove regularly, I've additionally helped 
hundreds of women find their own groove in their routines. And I have found in all of our joint experience that there are three routines that apply to us all. Three routines that make all the difference for all housewives. No matter your situation, they are a morning routine, an evening routine, and an EHAP routine. So although we might have a personal morning routine where we do things like our Bible reading and our prayer time and getting ready for the day or maybe even exercise, what I mean for this morning routine is a morning routine for our housework. Every person has a different set of tasks that happen within their morning routine, but what works is to set aside 15 minutes for a morning routine. And when you're committed to making your morning routine 15 minutes, you commit to figuring out and really winnowing down and f- discovering what makes the most difference for you and your current situation. If you only had 15 minutes every morning and every evening to get that maintenance work done, what would you do? That criteria helps you figure out what really does make the difference and where your time really is best spent. When you're committed to that bare minimum essentials list, Not only are they simpler to get done because you can fit in 15 minutes even on the craziest of days, but you are also convinced that each one of those tasks really does matter. It's not fluff. It's not a pipe dream plan. Those 15 minutes will make a significant difference in your house. On top of a 15 minute morning routine a fif- and a 15 minute evening routine, if you have kids at home, you should also have an afternoon EHAP routine. EHAP stands for everything has a place. And the implication is then that everything should be put back in its place. It's a fun name for tidying up that helps us remember and our kids learn that our point in tidying up is not just to move the mess to a new place, but to actually put things in their proper place. Everyone can pitch in and it does make a big difference in a short time if we work together, even if most of the group are all littles. We want to be on top of our duties, but even the best routines will not mean that the house is clean and photo shoot worthy all the time. If you're actually, you know, using your home for growing and building a family. Instead of creating a visual ideal that we're striving for, we should simply be willing to do the work in front of us in the time that we have, whether or not that gets us to the end result that we wanted, especially quickly. Now tomorrow I'm going to have the final step in this series. So stay tuned and make sure you haven't missed any previous ones. And you can dig deeper into this process by reading my book. Make 2024 your year of embracing cheerful, competent homemaking. I can help you do this inside my community convivial circle. We're just now starting simplified organization community coaching, where we are going to take 36 weeks to think through and work through every area, not just of our house, but of our whole life and personal management habits. We're going to think through everything, work through our current situation and grow in cheerfulness, competence and capacity. We'd love to have you join us. You can find more information in the description 
and we will be closing the doors on this program on Monday. It's included in your membership, but you need to act now to join us. I hope to see you there.